Flowcharts and Gantt charts are two varieties of process charts that can help you show how steps in a process fit together. Let's look at how to build them in Keynote. I use Envato Elements, which is an all-you-can-download service that includes access to many creative assets, including Keynote templates. When you don't want to design everything from scratch, you can use a pre-built Keynote template that includes the assets you need to skip the extra work. The first chart that we're going to build is a simple flowchart. I'm going to use the Metro template to get ahead in the process. Let's jump over to Keynote where I've already got the template open and I'm working on a slide that has a pre-built flowchart. This is an example of a flowchart that you can use to show a process. Each step leads to the next one. Now it's really easy to update this chart with your own details as you're seeing me do here. Just click in boxes and type over them to add your own details. And flowcharts can also have conditional logic as this branching box in the center shows. If you're giving this to a new team member, you can use this branching logic to kind of show how you can make a decision under different sets of circumstances. The process that I'm designing sticks to a pretty similar structure as the starter slide, but there's also no reason that you couldn't really completely customize this. That could include copying and pasting the boxes and arrows and rearranging it to include all of the steps in your process. I've got mine updated now and you can see that this is the type of flowchart that you could give to someone new to help them understand a process from start to finish. All it takes is updating those placeholder boxes to really bring it to life. Let's take a look at one more type of chart that you can use to show a process, and that's called a Gantt chart. Again, I'm using a pre-built template from Elements to get ahead of the game here, and this template is actually called the Gantt chart template. It has a wide variety of Gantt charts, and for my purposes, I'm actually going to use the one-week Gantt chart. Now, what sets Gantt charts apart from simple flowcharts is that it shows that many things are working in parallel side by side. On complex projects, you're going to have lots of steps running at the same time, and everyone needs to know where they fit into that process. For this example, I'm going to update the tasks on the side with the description of what everyone should be working on. You could also use the key at the bottom to showcase the different members of the team with different colored lines. And at the top, of course, it's got the days of the week to show when you should be working on something. Whether you use a flowchart or a Gantt chart, either is a solid upgrade over bulleted lists or text boxes that describe a project. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus, and thanks for joining me.